everybody welcome to another today in the workshop video it's been a while since we've been out in the workshop uh, seems like uh, once the weather broke we were out uh, fishing and turkey hunting and messing around outdoors but uh, I just got a phone call from uh, our friend Kevin and he's gonna stop by the workshop so I thought it'd be a good day to uh, get caught up on refurbishing that saw that Kevin had dropped, uh, dropped off the other day. Um, for those of you who hadn't seen the saw yet, <clears throat> get it out of the vise here. It, here it is, buck saw. Uh, now so far I, I cleaned up the wood uh, and put some uh, linseed oil on it and then I had taken the turnbuckle off and it was pretty rusted up but I got it all cleaned up, it works real good, um, took it all apart and, and uh, wire brushed it and all. So the only thing left to do is to uh, try to get this saw blade sharp again. Um, I had mentioned in the other video that I was having a lot of trouble finding a replacement saw blade for this. Uh, I can find bow saw blades, uh, you know, the thinner bow saw blades, but the, these thicker uh, buck saw blades, uh, at least uh, I have not been able to find a source for them. So I'm going to attempt to sharpen this one. I think I can. I think I can do it. Um, uh, I've got, there's two different types of teeth on it. There's what they call cutters and rakers. Uh, and uh, they don't look to be in terrible shape, uh, though they are dull. So I'm going to sharpen up the, uh, the cutters and I'm going to try to get the rakers uh, cleaned up a little bit and maybe uh, get those uh, working. Uh, so uh, I'm going to put it back in the saw vise here and, and start filing on it. And then uh, hopefully by the time uh, Kevin stops by, the saw will be all, all fixed up and back uh, in working order. Not sure how well this close-up will work, so if it's a little fuzzy, uh, uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so these here, these ones right here, are the cutters and um, it, they're slightly offset from each other and um, there's two cutting edges on each each uh, tooth so I'm going to try to sharpen those and then these here are the rakers and I'm going to try to clean those up the best I can and uh, get those working I think the most important thing will be to get the cutters sharp and make sure that they are um, slightly offset so slightly larger than uh, than or in width than the the rakers which they, they rake out the the cut sawdust so I, I've got the blade in the vise and I'm going to start filing away now I'm just going to file the same angle that was on here originally. on this blade and they uh, feel pretty sharp to me I'm not sure how well it'll work uh, this most certainly is not a how-to video 
none of my workshop videos are how to because I am far from a expert uh, on any topic and uh, I don't want to come across like I'm telling people how to do things what I do want to do is I do want to encourage people to give stuff a try you know uh, see how it works out um, and uh, this saw was a fun project worst case if it doesn't cut which I'm going to test it in a couple of minutes to see how well it cuts worst case I got a nice cleaned up uh, saw to hang up uh, <laughs> on the wall <laughs> you know uh, so uh, let's go let's go test this uh, this uh, saw out and see if it see if it'll actually cut now <laughs> well <laughs> you know sometimes things don't go <laughs> the way you plan I was uh, just gonna take the saw out and uh, test it out <laughs> and I decided to tighten this turnbuckle just a little bit, you know, make the blade uh, a little tighter, and look what happened. <laughs> the uh, the wood, the old wood of the handle, uh, cracked under the pressure of uh, tightening that turnbuckle just that little bit. So I uh, <laughs> I guess whether it cuts or not uh, will remain a mystery. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to glue it back up, and uh, I guess it's destined to be a uh, wall hanger. <laughs> so you know, some days things don't go the way you want them to. So uh, uh, I still gotta show it off to Kevin and uh, show him what I did uh, when he stops by. So uh, until next time, everybody, take care. Thanks for watching, and. Uh, I hope your day in the workshop's a little better than mine was. So, <laughs> take care, everybody.